Hi there, I'm Daniel from Buy the Brush Miniatures and today I'll be telling you what kit bashing is, why you should do it and at the end I'll give you a roadmap if you're just starting out with a few examples of some kit bashing I've done myself. So the first thing I'm going to be telling you is what is kit bashing? Kit bashing is taking small bits from another kit that you're not using just as the name suggests uh, and it is what is what I regard as the primary form of conversion which converting is simply just going against what the instructions tell you to do. This possessed here is not a kit bash, this is a conversion because all I've done to it is added a bit of green stuff here and a hand coming out of it that this hand is actually from the possessed kit so I've not used any parts that aren't from the kit that this model is so this is not a kit bash, this is a conversion. This branch witch here is a very small kit bash because what I've done is I've swapped the head out for a base ornament from the infantry for the Sylvaneths kit and these on the back are just from a tree lord kit but that's all I've done to this so this is just a small kit bash. And then finally this Tau Commander here is a large kit bash because I've added loads of bits all over it to completely change the model and most of the bits that I've added are from separate kits. So this is a large kit bash and fairly advanced. So next you might be asking yourself why would you choose to kit bash? Well there's a very huge variety of reasons that you might want to kit bash but some of the more common ones are that you want to add uniqueness to a character model especially if it's uh, a named character for a custom sub faction uh, or you might want to uh, change a model because it's a duplicate due to it being monopause and you already have that model but you want two for your army so you might want to kit bash it a bit to change it up that's what I did with that branch witch I showed you earlier and another really common reason is just because kit bashing is really fun that's the main reason I kit bash just because I enjoy it and I want to get better at it so that's one reason that I would recommend you look for if you feel like you're maybe getting a bit bored of just following the instructions, maybe have a go at kit bashing if you've never done it before. However, there are a plethora of more reasons that might come up slightly less often. For example, you might want to update an old model, like a named character for an army that you have. For example, here in Blackheart, say, if you collect red corsairs or change something about a model that you don't like. For example, I know a lot of people don't like the Defiler model, so many people turn to kit bashing to fix what they don't like about it. I personally just have the Defiler model because I don't mind it, but there might be another model that you particularly dislike, but want in your army. And a very uncommon one that you might want if you're very advanced is uh, if there's a model that you want for rules purposes, but it's resin and you really don't like working with resin or you might have run out of super glue uh, then you might want to kit bash it that's uh, from pieces that are predominantly or fully plastic so that you don't have to use resin in your model. So I've done a very large amount of kit bashing especially recently as I continue to improve uh, how good I am at it with practice just as you can and you will be able to after you watch this video and when you're just starting out you might you what you don't want to do anything very advanced you want to start very small this Tau commander is my first ever kit bash that I've that I did years ago and all I did is I clipped off the push fit piece on the leg so that I could raise it up a bit and replace the bit of rubble that is on the sprue for a hive crone head and put a bit of green stuff on it and that's it I'd recommend you do a few of these before you move on to more slightly advanced stuff. If you're still at that stage this model that I've shown you before is an example of how a very small change can make a massive difference to the model. I've already explained what I've done to this and it's simple two-step process but it's a, it looks like a completely different model and just for comparison here I've placed it alongside a regular branch witch which I followed the instructions perfectly for and as you can see this is something you need to keep in mind when you kit bash in. You need to, if you're going to use the model in games you need to make sure it's recognisable as the model that you want to play it as and this is recognisable and you can tell that it's not much change but it's very noticeable 
and it just makes the model feel fresh. So the next step once you're ready to move on from those simple ones is I would recommend trying to create a model from another model. Have the base model be something completely different to what you want to use it as, but you but stick on some pieces from kits that you want it to represent uh, and try and recreate that model. Here, this model is based from a Stormcast Eternal model, but I use it as a Space Marine Chapter Master. And because of the small additions I've added around it, like the backpack, the grenades, the bags and the pistol holster, you can tell that this is a Space Marine just with slightly modified armour. So once you feel very confident in your kit bashing skills, you can move on to very advanced kit bashes like this Tau Commander I showed you before. Now there's far too many changes uh, that I've made to this model for us to talk about in this video, but what you want to do at this stage is think of a vision of the model that you want to create and change model change the model accordingly with things that you might want to use things that aren't necessarily meant for modeling like guitar strings or like I've used here I've used chains to represent wires just stuff like that and at this stage really you can get do many things like here I would never have been able to pull this off back when I made that Space Marine Captain that I showed you just now and once you once you've proceeded past this stage you'll only continue to grow and grow and move on to converting things like Imperial Knight. So that's all for this video I have another video planned where I'll tell you how you can kitbash and I'll have you a walkthrough of an example kitbash that I'll be doing in that video live with you but if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to support us elsewhere the links in the, the links in the description to our Patreon and Instagram where you can support us and see some of our own work and please join the Discord server if you want to communicate with us and other hobby doers like you and I but with that all being said I'll see you next time